This is a shoulder mobility sequence. You're standing, really good posture, rib cage on top of your pelvis, and you're breathing in and out through your nose using that abdominal breath. The first motion is a external rotation at the glenohumeral joint, so your shoulder. And you're going to keep that external rotation as far as you can. Once you cannot do that anymore, then you're going to completely internally rotate it, most likely at the top, and then bring that down. When you start from the back, you're going to start at complete internal rotation and go as far as you can until you have to turn into external rotation. You will feel stopping points within your shoulder joint. The next one is just an abduction. So throughout the whole time, you're keeping your elbow straight and you're just feeling your scapulas move along that rib cage. Once you've done a few of those, then I like to call these like getting the sword out of your back, like if you're a ninja turtle. And you're just bending at the elbows once you come to that horizontal line. Still breathing in and out through your nose. This is what it looks like from the back. Notice there's no activation of the traps. We're moving and initiating everything from the scapulas from the core, from your breath, from your scapulas. Scapulas are gliding nicely along that rib cage. Now with each of these, we usually do about five. So five on each arm, front and back, or going forward and backwards. And then five of the abductions, all the way up and all the way down. And then five on each side, grabbing the sword from your back. And then we finish with five of the internal and external rotations.